What's good, YouTube? It's a novice. I'm doing another train of thought video, guys. This one is almost like a self-corrective one because I did a, a train of thought video once. I think it was my fourth one, train of thought video um, number four, where it was, I was like really cryptic with it. It was almost 30 minutes long um, about just like responsibilities as a YouTuber, uh, social issues um, in pop culture, stuff like that. It was all over an argument I had, it was an argument, an exchange I had with someone in the YouTube comment section. And I just thought, you know what, instead of being so cryptic with that, why don't I do a much shorter video where I just give my thoughts on what I've learned uh, through those exchanges, through um, me being having certain ignorances, certain like, contradictions that have put me where I am now, that have made me want to start my own channel and make me want to be like more clear, so on. So here are my thoughts on like movements in pop culture, uh, but more to the point, like the, the future of hopefully uh, online discourse right especially on youtube i'm going to be looking at my notes every so often so don't don't be alarmed if i look down like i'm not beating off a sign um scratch that oh i'm gonna edit it out i won't <laughs> first thing first i want to make sure here's the first thing i've learned from like uh these exchanges online these talks over something that i won't speak about because i don't want it to be clickbait um, but there's a certain topic in, I don't want to say nerd culture, but just pop culture that um, has caused people to, you know, talk talk a certain type of way to each other. Not all, but an influential minority um, of people who are for and against this issue. And it's not the first time stuff like this has happened, unfortunately, and they have reflected and I talk about this because, first and foremost, I'm one of those people, right? I'm one of those people who, when it comes to certain movements online, I like to pretend like I haven't been those people because I I do feel like I strive to learn more. But yeah, I, can, I have been aggressive with people. I've insulted people who haven't agreed with me. I've, I've gone that low. Um, and I've been the social justice warrior that I didn't want to be and I've also contradicted myself by arguing points that uh, with difference uh, with that I've disagreed with at times uh, like I've been all over the place so the first lesson I've learned from like this, these kind of exchanges with pop culture and hope the hopeful future of online discourse always talk to someone like the right next to you. To me, that's really important because I don't want to, it goes back to like a schoolyard thing. I don't want to ever ruin my integrity by being someone who talks the talk but doesn't walk the walk, who talks a lot. And then let's say I ever got to a time where I did have an exchange with someone uh, on a live stream or some other form of fashion where I see their face I wouldn't want to switch up how I am I always want to pretend like I'm in the presence of that person I'm looking at that person it's something it does something to me that makes me have more integrity a lot of people say that it makes you more spineless there's some people that will say that I I'm, don't listen to those people I'm telling you it does the opposite it encourages you to have a real conversation because you're really talking to someone when you see them as opposed to just typing um, or tweeting, texting on whichever, Snapchat actually Snapchat uses images, never mind but you, you get what I mean, like it's not the same thing there's an incentive not to insult not to personally attack which ruins like, your integrity uh, another thing just me especially, I just need to think about my arguments. Um, being clear and concise is really important for me. This is part of why, especially in the last like two months, 
I've really started to take well, first and foremost is because I'm I'm on a, on a scheme because of the lockdown, and I'm not working. So that's that's the reason why I'm taking this more seriously. <laughs> but also because I do like the person I'm becoming by doing more videos. I like that is encouraging me to be more clear and concise, which has always been a problem for me with communication, with writing things down, with expressing how I feel. I I'm an untrained mind, I admit. I'm slow because I always put off that work to be more sharp and to have like a ready argument and reason for the way I think about the world. Um, and also more importantly, I've followed YouTubers in the past who believe that an authentic reaction is the same as an emotional reaction, as like your first kind of fire, like brand, like internal, what, what would you call it? And I'm using too many big words. That's part of the problem. Um, when you think something, when you first see something and you react to it, people think that that means you're authentic, not necessarily, because you're you're impulsive. People don't think logically and they don't try to juggle like one over the other thing, um, one factor over the other thing, when they are emotional and when they are first thinking about something or first seeing something, reacting to it. And that's another reason why I want to think about my arguments. And then another thing, uh, another big thing that I've learned, hopefully is the future of my online discourse. I don't want to look to win with um, exchanges in comment sections. Hopefully I just reduce comment sections to a minimal uh, in terms of exchange, like certain types of exchanges. Um, but I don't want to be a person who <laughs> I'm speechless. I don't want to be a person who looks to win. And I'll tell you why. Because yes, there is, you should prove your argument against someone. But I never know what I may learn from the exchange. And that's first and foremost, the priority. I have to learn something from talking, from interacting with someone through the online like talking space if i don't then it's unproductive even if the person exchanging with me doesn't like doesn't agree with me and doesn't like me thinks i'm out of order as long as i learn something from the exchange to me i'm good i'm good uh, another thing people start arguments silly arguments myself first and foremost a lot because they always talk past each other and that's why perspective learning perspective is so important for me and then lastly, again, what I've been saying all along, having a clear position, but not being afraid to reconsider. Here's why that's important for me. It's important because obviously, like I've mentioned, I want to be more clear. I want to be more simple. It's easier to digest and understand, especially for my audience, but for myself um, to like go and refer back to a simple argument. But also being willing to change my mind, like talking, interacting with someone and then stopping and saying, you know what, maybe you're right. Instead of just like conceding to someone, feeling like I'm conceding to someone because, oh, I didn't have a good argument. I want to, that's, that's the most unclear thing for me. I don't know how I'm going to do that because I admit that when I concede people's arguments sometimes is because I'm non-confrontational naturally. Uh, even though, again, this is part of the problem in the online space. It's like, because I don't imagine a face, right? Um, so I can be that way. But I am naturally non-confrontational. So when I feel things getting too heated, sometimes like I, I, I push back, not push back. I push, I don't push. I try to, but there's also a genuine, I, I, yeah, I try to like see on their level but not for the best reasons. But there's also a genuine, like, I want to know how you think. So that's that's going to be important to really, like, consider, wait, am I wrong about something? But also not feel like I have to back down just because, right? And yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are my thoughts. Um, 
yeah, just be willing to change my mind on things. Um, and even do videos, even if I don't change my mind in the moment, interacting with someone, do a video, speak on it, so on. That's pretty much it, guys. Yeah, it's, just, it's called a train of thought for a reason, to give my rambled thoughts on, on stuff. Um, if you like this video, check out some of my other train of thought videos, some of my other reviews, all that stuff on my channel. Um, please then consider subscribing. It will really help out the future of my content, the more support I have. And that's it. Signing off. Later.